What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another live war for you here. It's Tribe Gaming versus Existence in the quarterfinals of the EWU Season 7. Let's go ahead and see who can come out with the victory in this best of two today. Hello. Hello. Um, 11 to 12 is something. Right. Which base? Then we'll break on the bomb tower at 10 o'clock. Four. Then... Maybe... Maybe... Well, either use the war racker. Or... Use... Or jump over the two cannons. And blimp the town hall. <coughs> yeah, do the blimp, because... The Warwick is not going to get that far unless you um, freeze the Bats. Maybe from 12? When the blimp is rooted, yeah, I think yeah, it looks good. And then hmm. put the RC at like walk? 3 o'clock to tank the Wiz Tower. Do you want to walk the... the scatter shot? Um... No, probably Don't not. Think you have to. probably yeah. need a ring. Is it more worth Just... to walk the top side? Uh... Because on the right, on the left side at nine o'clock, you just need to find like the elixir collector and the the workshop. So you can funnel the workshop with a mm -hmm. wizard and one super golem if you have, or just like you can like if you funnel the workshop, you can even just send like the king there, and it's gonna walk up. Yeah. Whereas at twelve o'clock, the funnel is a little more difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you want to have the king inside, probably. Yeah. Yeah, but looks I like the idea. Sounds very good. Just have to um with the enemy warden force an ability from you or something. Shouldn't right? Mm. right. Probably if you send a if you send like three dunes for the top archer tower at twelve maybe even or two. And then just have the warden at the builder hut. I think it should be good. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Sounds really nice idea. Are there any other bases we already have good plans for? No, we just look for No, we were waiting for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a plan on four? Lex, do you know if we hit first or no? Uh, they do. Okay, that's what I thought. What are the time frames again? Because we gotta be posted spot it in on. the EV, EWU. Okay. Perfect. Forty minutes. They'll go first, and then we are at thirty-six. Yes. Nice. Five mm. has all ground posts, right? Uh, yeah, I was thinking it's the other one. Five. One. If you do a like RC at one o'clock, and then start the king on the elixir storage to walk around twelve. Walk down towards nine, wall break the queen in for the town hall on the single. I imagine it's gonna be baited there, but it should be fine anyways. And then start the lala from like two. Do you think the queen is gonna backtrack? Or you have to wall break the queen in from the 12 o'clock side, right? Or like from the left side, so she won't go to the expo? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think yeah, there were a champion wall break by the end. Gold storage. No, she should die. Okay. I I think there's gonna be Teslas, at least two, behind that elixir storage at twelve. Yep. Mm -hmm. I imagine she'll die right there. But she should get that AD, which is all I really play in. Then you can target that ground bow behind the town hall to the right with the slammer, and then start the law low at two. Yeah. <coughs> Skelly for the RC? Yeah. Okay. The core scatter shot is going to be annoying because you don't have anything to tank there, or nothing which tanks it. Yep. And it's probably going to be like a more spammy Lalo again. Yep. That's how he likes it. Yeah, I was about to say that's, that's probably <laughs> favorite you anyway, so that's nice. Yeah, that's good. Just make sure you get the tunnel actually with the Sui because I think that's going to be the most... Or that's yeah, gonna be not that I'll have a... Ice call and stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Maybe you have to use a freeze on one of the ground balls, but yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so one, two, three. Remain. <gasps> I mean, what you could do on one is just like a warden walk at six. Then super war break in at the mortar. Five. You funnel at three mm -hmm. o'clock as well, probably with your king. And the siege barrack in addition. And then you just jetty smash in there. Jump over the single inferno tower to the top side. Um, I was thinking of doing a warden walk at like 7.30 for the scatter shot. For the scatter shot? What? Yeah. I was kind of seeing a drag bat on one. Drag bat or e-drags? Uh, just drag bat. It's kind of, I mean, I was trying to figure out the placement of things, but it's starting to come together. I think you could sue the queen at nine with like an ice golem, basically to get the AD in the wizard tower there, hopefully. And then run the king 12 towards three, do the chant behind for the wizard tower and AD at the single. Um, maybe you dedicate a freeze just to get the single down. A couple sneaky do gobs on all the storages up top to get the drags through faster and then drags from like... 10 to 11 ish blimp for the town hall with sneaky gobs and a hound and then bat from eight you really don't need a freeze for um that scatter and then the whiz tower if it's still up it's risky though yeah uh, what i think uh, it's pretty obvious that the tornado trap is going to be behind the single in the core okay. so you would have to dedicate a freeze to the Single and the AD possibly. Even though okay. it's probably in the warden, but then scrap. with bets. Sorry. Yeah, scrap it. Don't worry about that. Then. No. No, I was thinking oh, drag that nice too, but <clears throat> from like seven or from five o'clock, if you do your queen with an ice golem to like at like four o'clock to get the RC in those two archer towers and funnel. Mm -hmm. Dragons from five. Have your king at six, walking up to nine. And then dragons in at five o'clock on the scatter, blimp behind with goblins for the town hall. I don't know if a hound really does anything for you there, but and then bat from like three o'clock. You only got two wizard towers on that entire side, and you'd use RC on the back end, and you still have the. Yeah, never mind. No blimp. But... Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good too. Probably use RC on the wizard tower at 10 o'clock. You have three freezes for the two wizard towers and uh, two rages for the dragons. Yeah, I think that looks better than the one I was looking at. Guessing he's got his Tessas there on the back end at like 10 to 11. Yeah, most likely. I was looking at three, sorry. Could you just super quickly say the general yeah. planning? You so Queen at four o'clock with an ice golem to get those buildings, probably the RC. King yeah. six to nine. Dragons from five with a blimp behind for the town hall and bets from three. RC on the back end at ten for the wizard tower. So you only have two. Yeah. Uh, this is probably going to be at the eleven o'clock side, right? Yep. But yeah, overall, I think that's a nice idea. Not sure about the blimp if you put the. Oh, you probably do. Or would the slammer be better? Mm, so you have yeah. something to take. I think blimp is probably safest. <clears throat> you think just go with drag so you don't pull the CC though? Do the sticky gobs pull the CC there, or will they die before? It's kind of like right in the fine line. They'll probably pull it. So yeah, might just be better off with loons and a dragon or something. But then you have I to think... waste your second rage on it. Yeah. Depends if your heroes are down at that point, then it's gonna be a ride. Because then you can just lure it away at towards 12 o'clock or something, the CC. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah, just plant an archer up there. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you could just do five gobs and a hound, right? 
Yeah. Or five cops and like another dragon or something probably would be more valuable. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd probably do the dragon. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, queen. If you have super goblins, it would be nice there. You could have like a wizard at three o'clock or a super goblin at four. Just to make sure the queen actually gets the enemy royal champ as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it looks good overall. <clears throat> All right, number two. Uh, okay, we still have ten minutes, but uh, oh. Nick, I guess you want to do the Svilalo. Yeah. Elliot, do you want to do the uh, Yeti Bobet? Um. Yeah. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, I don't know. It depends if we have a good one for two or three. Let's look at those then. Should I go ahead and just call one? Is that okay? If you does like it. Else, mm -hmm. Does someone else want to do the drag bat? If you like it, go oh. ahead, sure. You can take it, yeah. Yep. I'll take it. If someone wants it, we can switch around. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> three. On two. Can you charge into the single at 11? One mulberry, and then have her walk down that side into the eagle on the scatter? I was thinking about that, yeah. Do you think the, do you think the sweeper and the two ground bows will make a difference? Well, one, one ground bow won't hit you. The sweeper's gonna be on you like the entire time, so it's basically just against that entry. Yeah. Yeah. Looks nice. I think it'll be tough. But I mean, is there enough damage there to stop it, even with the sweeper? If one ground bone, and then you have one scatter shot in the warden, you probably need a freeze for the scatter shot in the warden. And you need to find on your queen on the right side, obviously, so she steps inside. But overall, I mean, probably you have to, like, I guess you want to do hybrid back end, right? Like 9 o'clock? Yeah, 10 o'clock into the town hall, yep. Yeah, I think you have to freeze twice, probably. Just the warden and the scatter shot, but that's grouped up, so it's nice for you. And then the queen should step in. You probably need two freezes there, actually. You may even be able to get, like, the eagle as well. And then you just use ability back end on the single inferno tower. Yeah. I think it, it can break, yeah. <clears throat> You're gonna need a freeze for the single, though. Do you wanna use your king at 12 o'clock for the funnel? Like, 12 to 3? I don't know if you can, because you're gonna need him at 10 o'clock. Did you guys think... Break break at nine. You guys think there's a chance you could just do, like, a queen walk from 9.30ish, so she's gonna stroll towards 6? Um, lure the CC early with a loon and then a couple hogs into the wizard tower there. Deal with it with the queen over at nine and then run king from 12 to three and then just mass minor in between. I feel like the base is pretty spread for that and you have like two separate channels where the troops would go, so it would be well, tough to heal them. Also, I that you want to break the queen into the single if you can, but if you look at the pathing, it's like from the town hall to the wizard tower, it's, it's thin for, through the middle. True. And, and then on the back end, it, since you have the siege, you could just do the siege with the king and then the hog should come help clean around that side, but... <sighs> um, what if you don't pull the full CC? Yeah, that'd probably be a problem too. It looks pretty easy to lure, but I guess you never know. Oh, there's a scatter shot there on the water, on the whiz tower, and also there could be tons of archers in there. I think you could just drop a loon on the motor and then drop a giant or two to walk towards the warden platform, should pull it. Yeah, unless there's like a test on the top side above, next to the storage. But yeah. Yeah.
<coughs> Damn. Actually, I think Lex, you have to do number two anyway because it's Rigatoris, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably, you have to attack. I'll probably pick one of those charges. Um, somebody want to look at the three? Here yeah, I'm a go. three. First yep. attack of the um... war. Let's see, WW's going in on my base here, starting off with a warden walk. Looks like he's gonna yeti smash straight into the town hall here. Warden walk at 8 o'clock, see how much value he can get. He finds two of the Teslas here early on. I'm guessing he is going to be dropping the remainder of the troops, or most of them. Yeti's in the bowlers straight in for the town hall here with siege breaks on the outside. Already cleared some of the trash at 6 o'clock, including two more Teslas. That archer tower goes down, which means the funnel is made. Only two minutes and ten seconds left on the clock here. He's going to go ahead and start with the rest of the push, I believe. Or he's going to wait just a little bit longer. There goes the king on the outside for the funnel. Is the siege barracks going to go in the core? Going to be interesting to see how he does this here. No wall break just yet. There goes the first. Okay, the wall breaker goes in. Did they both go off there? Nope, he gets the double there. Alright, so they'll be able to go into the town hall here. There are a ton of secret air mines over here, so his healers might get absolutely wrecked if he doesn't pop the warden ability soon. There goes the warden ability. Saves the healer from the Sam. Nicely timed there. Gonna be able to save the healers through most of these Sams here. So beautiful warden ability there by WW. Everything pushing through. Does lose one of the healers there. Siege barracks on the outside behind the king. Everything pushing into the core here. Healers are getting hit by that sweeper. Scatter shot. Absolutely destroying these bowlers here. All the bowlers go down. There's just a couple yetis left. Warden gets targeted by the single. He goes down, which is nice for us. Still has the row of champ hogs from the siege barracks with the row of champ on the right side of the base here. Can Queen go in and get enough value here so that the hogs and the siege barracks can finish it off? I don't think so. That eagle's still alive. He has to pop the queen ability there. No more free spells. Oof. Looking like a defense here. It's the OP orange walls that get the defense for us. Yes, that's going to be good. Start off the war for us. Oh, the queen should be good. Let's see. It's not getting it done. No, we still got the RC in the single. RC, gonna have to pop her ability. There that goes. Doesn't Bridge get the Inferno. Can she get through that single? Oh, this is gonna be close. Don't. Get her down, get her down, get her down. Yes. Nice! <laughs> Whew, that was close. Gonna be a defense though. Oh, really good percent. Okay, yeah. Who's All good right. to attack first? <laughs> Sorry? Is Nick gonna attack first? Yep. Alright, cool. Yep. At 36 minutes, right? Yep. Alright. What are we gonna do to Rigo's base? Did you guys come up with the plan on three? Yeah, you have one. Charge in at five, double layer for town hall, hybrid from nine. Uh, yet I think wants to do it, so I can do the Yeti Bobet on four. Okay. Uh, could you quickly look at number four, someone? Elliot, maybe even? Or actually, yeah. sorry, Nick. Let's good luck, Nick, first. Here we go, Nick with our first attack of the war, coming in with the Sui Lalo that we talked about here. He's gonna to try to get the Sui for the town hall. See this RC, she's gonna go in. Gets targeted by the single, so he's gonna have to pop her ability. There we go. She's gonna go down. Pathing is made for the Sui though, which is nice. King gonna pop his ability, wall break in for the town hall. Should be good to go, super wall breaker. There's no way he'll be able to fail this wall break. There we go, King and his Barbarians. Hopefully there's no Giant Bomb, that King will get a lot of value. There goes the Super Wall Breaker. Gotta be patient here. Queen should step up inside the Wall Break. Ice Golem in front, just to make sure that she's gonna be at full health when she activates this Town Hall. There is a Skelly Trap. Have to freeze once. Damn. Come on, get that town hall, get that town hall. Nice. Perfect. Got the town hall, it's gonna be able to start the Sui here from the two o'clock angle. Some Coco Loons in front, Slammer on the Expo. 
And here we go, the rest of the Lalo from two o'clock. Early cleanup minions, make sure he's not gonna time fail, and here we go. Come on, Nick. Is the Lalo already? Yep. What are you waiting for? Probably right in the middle because Queen is locking on. Perfect, freeze the scatter and the queen. Queen goes down, scatter goes down. Multi-target Inferno with the Tornado Trap over 3 o'clock. Going to be able to pop the Warden ability pretty soon. Another Hound and Loon's coming in for the Eagle. RC's on the Hound, you can kill him. Nice. Nice skelly spell for the enemy RC. It's looking nice pretty warden. solid, still has the Warden ability here. Loon's pathing into the core. We need some of them to go to the Scatter Shot. Can he get Loon's to pass to the Scatter? They do, and a Freeze for the Scatter. This is looking really good here for Nick. Mm, that Wizard Tower is going to be a bitch. Oh, come on. Close. Dragon's at half HP. Hopefully it's not time again. Nice split there. No, I should have. It. Come on, split Nick. Come on, Nick. Yeah, the split is nice. <gasps> nice Nick. Hell yeah. Nice Strong start for Tribe here. Nick coming in with the sewing level triple. No. Nah, no, nice split. All oh, perfect. Whew. Nice job, Nick. <laughs> All right. Oh, OP attack. <sighs> All right. What was the uh, you wanted to look at number four? Yeah. Thinking like okay, I'm gonna do a warden walk at twelve ish or eleven thirty. Yeah. Final at nine o'clock with the wizard and the super goblin. Then I'll super wall break in at the bomb tower for the uh, yeah for the single funnel tower at ten o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeti smash in blimp for the town hall with the warden ability, and then the question is uh, I start the bets at 12 ish, and I have one ice golem for them. Should I use it at the wo uh, wizard tower at 3 o'clock, or should I use it at 4 o'clock? Or like, no, should I use it at 3 or like 5 ish? Uh, I think the 430 wizard tower is easier to yeah. distract. So I would just freeze, the, the, freeze the first wizard tower and then ice golem at 430. I still have my road champ as well, so I could use him somewhere. Yeah, you can use the champ, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna be able to go next? I can go next. Okay. Michael DP in with Existence's <clears throat> second attack here. Early road champ here for the Sui. Is she gonna get that AD down? No, she doesn't. One shot away from getting that AD. He's coming in with an Electro Dragon attack here. Gonna be interesting. King being used to make the funnel on the south side. Oh, Queen up at 11. Triple. What is? Here go all the E Dragons. Hit on me. Yeah. Queen ability gonna pop here. She'll be able to take out the enemy King as well. Blimp here for the town hall. Pops the warden ability. <clears throat> Nick, will you look at uh, one roll quick? Yeah, I'm just going to run it over since I'm about yep. to go. Let's see. Ice Golem does so get pulled, which is do nice. A, uh, sticky gob each side. Uh, using the last of the rages here. E Dragon's on the right side. Get distracted by the row of champs. She's going to go down really quickly, though. Eagle Artillery is still up, which is nice for us. Does one more rage and two freezes. There goes a freeze on the bottom side. All three single target infernos are still up, which is what we need right here to help defend the E dragons. Come on, single target infernos, kill these dragons. He freezes the middle one. One E dragon goes down on the right side. Dragon goes down on the left side. Come on, come on, single target infernos, kill these dragons, please. Damn, I think he's got it. Those E Dragons just getting way too much value. The base is too compact. Nice base identification here from existence. They're gonna be able to get the triple and bounce right back into the war. Is it a triple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the one thing that does wreck this base no matter what I do. Damn. Okay. Oof. Bells. Funny that the uh, the more compact version of this base base actually defends Sea Drags better. <laughs> yeah. You go in at 28 minutes, SLS. Okay. Do you usually have like three freeze and on your deep orbit, or you usually don't be your deep orbit, right? I have five. How many bets do you have on drag bed? Five or six? Five or six, six depending. Six, yeah. But... Okay. I have five right now and three. Yeah, that's yeah, that's usual. Cool. Yep. 
All right, somebody look at number two real quick. One sec. Yep. What if I start with the queen at like five, um, some loons and a baby dragon maybe for the cannon. So that way queen's gonna walk to the left. And then a blimp for that inferno at 7.30. So queen's gonna go like into this channel, basically where the queen is. Um, and if I can keep her alive, I mean, she's going to get everything, and I can hybrid from 8 with the king at 10. The only question is, is that too much DPS for the queen to stay alive? Um, it's going to be a late CC pull. That's really what I don't like. But Also, there's no guarantee that she doesn't walk back up towards 3. Like if she targets that wizard tower. And I'd be pretty surprised if she did. I mean, unless he let her, like, walk to the left of that cannon and then blimp. Yeah, that's the goal. I'm going to wait until okay, she's, like, going course. left toward the archer tower and then blimp. Sure. And funnel the mortar in the cannon. You might need to take that gold storage down, but yeah. Okay, you have to take now. That's it, that's Okay, okay, okay. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. Here goes SLS with our second attack of the war. Let's see if Tribe can go two for two here. Coming in with the drag bat. And he's in, coming in with the Queen Sui down south for the enemy Royal Champ here. Queen's gonna take her out, no problem. Sneaky Goblin did not get that storage because of the Tesla. So he has to drop another one there, he gets Queen it. Queen may even get close to the town hall. Yeah, I was about to say, she might get it. In that yeah. case, swap to a slammer if you can. Okay. Going. I actually don't have a freaking slammer. That's fine. I think he's not going to get it anyway, so... No, you're not. Here we go with the dragons. And send the blimp in because the town hall is activated already. Okay. Gonna pop a warden ability here. Put a minion at three. Get that going. Boom, Town Hall's gonna go down thanks to the blimp. Dragon's pathing through the core. There's a ton of archers here, my goodness. Luckily he still has another rage. Oh, these dragons are getting absolutely CC. wrecked. That's a bitch. Freeze for the dragons. Wow, oh, what happened? Damn, those dragons got absolutely destroyed and just melted. Get a shot. I didn't even, I didn't even see what happened to all my dragons. Freeze the bottom. Ah, uh, damn it. Gonna be low percent too, which is not good for nice us. Nice try. Can put the archers at. Yeah. Three after three side. Was it the sweeper? No, it was just all those <clears throat> archers, man. That was a perfect CC to defend this attack. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it was just the perfect CC to defend that attack. Yeah. <clears throat> Some... Yeah, these. <laughs> Could have worked there, but yeah, that was unlucky. What was it? A witch or something? I didn't even see. Uh, like a dragon and archers. Oh, uh, yeah, like a ton of archers. Mm. <laughs> Back in one second. Damn. <sighs> Elliot, are you gonna go next? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think I can just use a ram instead of a blimp. Here goes Existence's next attack here. Hopefully we can get another defense. We really need one here. They're coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo early. Road Champ on the 6 o'clock side here. Queen being dropped. Cocaloon picks up a Seeking Airmine and finds the Tesla farm already. King being used on the outside to make a funnel. He's dying really fast. Gonna have to pop his ability. Tons of ground expos. Road Champ got her ability down. Here go the healers on the Queen. Gonna super wall break here for the Town Hall, it looks like. If that Tesla doesn't lure the Queen away to the right. Wall break is successful. Gonna try to get a double layer here on the Town Hall. Queen's gonna activate the Town Hall first, or he might wait and try to add a wall break on that Expo. I'm not sure exactly where this wall break's gonna happen. Maybe on the Cannon. 
Has to freeze the enemy heroes here. They're gonna do a ton of damage. He oh, might even have to pop die. her ability. He's gonna keep on freezing. He really doesn't want to pop her ability here. Ooh, she just barely stays alive. Raging again. CC finally coming out. Eagle's activated. Pops her ability. Eagle targets the healers, which is nice for us. Come on, come on. Let's see if we can kill these healers here. They stay alive. Eagle switches to the queen. Or, no, he starts the Lalo from the 9 o'clock angle here. I don't know if I've been lalo like this on this base. Freezes the Scattershot again. He really wants Queen to get that Scattershot down. We'll see if she can actually get it. Lalo coming in from the top side. That Dragon's going to kill the enemy row of champ yeah, here. So many traps are not going to be hit till the end. Uh-oh, he still has the Warden ability. This is not looking good for us. Hopefully that scatter shot can do some work here. We really need it to. Still has a haste spell that goes in right there. That's ripped. Oh, the loon split is just perfect. Damn it. That's a triple. Oh, the red bombs get hit by a minion. Not gonna hit any of the loons. Damn, nice attack here from existence, but that one is wrecked. We're gonna need another triple here. And we're going to need a defense with low percent to get back into this. Nice hit here. Swags that super wall breaker on the top side. Didn't need it at all. That's a triple. Alright, Elliot, carry. I think you're going mm. to 20. Yeah. Um, could you post an FC, please? Yeah. Nick on uh, where I was going to drop that blimp. I think I can just use a ram and it might be better. Yeah, it's just hard at a time because the ram's so slow. Yeah, I'll have to drop it early and just get like a wizard behind for some of the trash or two wizards even. Also, if your queen Base. special, she might go into the wall that's opened. Nice base you have, Elliot. Activated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm getting ready for super soft CWL, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. People we'll copy that best, I'll have it. <laughs> I copy this other best that you run uh, today, so. <laughs> yeah. The Itsu link or? Mm hmm. Sneaky. I'm guessing I can go in now. At 20, yeah. Oh, it has to be 20? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I want to risk it. I don't like it. Okay. It's 420. Oof. Now we're talking. Uh. I mean, if you're using a wall rack, you should hit number 3, really. Nah. Is his name's wall rack? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright, good luck. Oh, no, you. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck. Also, I feel like I'm, my second wallback's not going to go where, it, where it's meant to. So, if it doesn't, and it goes to the arc tower, I will put the siege box at 3. Hybrid at like four. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Elliot with our third attack of the war. We need the triple here to catch up and tie on stars. So we'd still be down on percent though. He's coming in with the queen charge hybrid. We're gonna try to double layer wall break. Get into the town hall. You could just drop the wall breaker from a, like where you drop the BK and target the elixir pump if you want. Up to you. Rage is the queen here. She's going to be able to fight the enemy queen pretty soon. Yep, he's going to... Ooh, perfect wall breakers. Nice. That's going to give her access to the town hall here. Ooh, there's going to be a lot of damage on her, though. 
Is she gonna fight the town hall before she fights the CC? No, she's not. Oh my god. You have to push the queen in with the hybrid. Yeah, you're gonna have to start your hybrid soon, so the queen steps back in. Nice. Probably either freeze or an early heal. And the rage for the queen. Come on, come on, queen, go in for the town hall. There she goes. Perfect. Rages and freezes to save the healers. Royal champ gets targeted by the eagle, which really sucks. He might pop the warden ability here. Not just yet. Queen's still alive. She's gonna start beating through a wall. If she gets into that core, she'll be able to we get a lot of value. Ah, still has the warden ability that he can Warden. use on the back end here. Misses some of the miners with that. That sucks. This is looking smashed. Still has another heal, though. We gotta do some stuff now. As long as the road champ doesn't get targeted, Queen can get that scatter shot if she can step up. You Come still on. got Queen ability if you want to get her Probably through. Come on. Come on, Elliot. Nice. Boom. Yeah, and the RC gets the Inferno. Yes! Beautiful hit from Elliot. GG. Nice hit, Elliot. Beautiful job. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whew, this is going to be a good war now. All tied up on stars. I actually swagged my ward on, on the phrase. Yeah, I think you used your warden too late. You missed a lot of the miners and hogs. Yeah. yeah I wasn't lucky because he was, he was rifting way at that point. Yeah. And then I froze because the scar shot was hitting them, and then they went the other way. I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Four people out. Yep. Danny, you gonna go next? Okay, yeah. I can do this. Oh, okay. Yes, you can. And I can do the attack, but. Not sure. <laughs> All right, um, Wallen coming in with Existence's next attack. It's gonna be a Sui Lalo. This is, might be the defense we need here. Hopefully something goes wrong and they can get low percent. That's what Tribe needs right here. Queen being used on the top side, along with the King and the Road Champ. All three heroes going in for this Sui. Road Champ hits the Tornado Trap. Gonna freeze for her to keep her alive. She's gonna find a Skelly Trap as well. Queen's beating a wall because she really wants those Skellies. That's nice. Now she switches over. He's gonna freeze the Inferno again. He really wants that Inferno down. Pops the queen ability here. Will he be able to get the enemy queen? He does. Wow. Nice Sui there to get the queen. Uh, Roa Champ does not get the scatter shot, but she damages it a little. Queen pulls the full CC, including the two ice golems. He does have an archer to distract those ice golems. Here he goes, starting with the Lalo from the bottom side. So he should be able to get the two star, no problem at all. But let's see if he can push all the way through and get the triple. Poisons the archers here. Blunt for the town hall. Warden in behind. Both scatter shots still alive here. Freezes the town hall, haste the loons on the top side. Warden ability gonna be used soon over the town hall. Nice warden AI. Oof. Jesus. Warden misses a bunch of the loons there, so he already lost a lot of loons, which is good for us. Freezes the scatter shot in the eagle, he's gonna have to freeze it again. There he goes. And the loons all path around to the Tesla. This is looking good for defense. Rages in the core here. Nothing passed That's to the scared. eagle. That's a defense right there. Nice. That's gonna put us right back into it. Hopefully he doesn't get too much percent here. We need all these loons to get wrecked by this wizard tower. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. Might have had a shot if it, he didn't lose half of his balloons. Nope. <laughs> Whew. All right, that's going to be a defense. The OP base. 75-ish percent OP maybe. OP base. I'm going to steal it. Yeah. It's your air. <laughs> <laughs> nice defense. Let's see. You might even be able Don't to get nice. close to 80%. Yeah. Hey, one sec. I just need to just edit some more cleanup troops. Okay. <sighs> nice defense there by Danny. Put us back in the war. If Danny 12? can triple here, right. we're going to be in the lead again. Yes, you attack at 12 minutes. He's a... Just going to get the warden little value. Looks like he's going to be able to get an 81, maybe even an 82. 
Not bad, not bad on percent. Ooh, Rigatol Res is gonna hit me. <laughs> How much percent was it exactly? Damn, 85. 86, okay. No, just 85. Not bad. Their average destruction is way above ours, so we definitely need another triple here. Just hope something goes to the core through the multi inferno in the middle. That would be nice. Because I could imagine that nothing will go there at first. I gotta mm -hmm. hope something goes there. Um, well, Queen can reach it from the Eagle comp, so. Yeah, true. Okay. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Have fun, you got this. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, Danny's in on base number four. Coming in with the Yeti Smash. Or really, it's a Pekka Bow Bat, or a Yeti Bow Bat. Early Warden walk here up at 11 just to make the funnel. Sneaky Goblin and a Wizard to make a funnel will be here at 9. And he's going to be smashing right into that 10 o'clock compartment where the bomb tower is. Pulls a Tesla there. Whew. Let's see, let's see. We need to wait for Warden to get that Archer Tower. Then he can start with the Yetis and the Wall Break. There goes the Yetis. Here comes the Wall Break. Perfect. Everything pushing in. That king gets targeted super early, which sucks. So he's going to have to pop the warden ability, maybe. Where's the blimp, Danny? There's the blimp. Wait on that warden ability. There goes the warden ability. We need that blimp to make it all the way to the town hall. <gasps> There's oh a witch in God. there. The tornado trap. Come on, come on, come on. No! Where's my queen? Oh, She's God. in the core. She yeah. should get the town hall. Rose once with her. Come on, Queen. Come on, Queen. Go up. Oh, God, no. Please. Queen. Fuck. Nice. Earth. Whew. Jesus Christ. That scared me. Don't know if he's gonna have enough to push through that row of champ on the backside though. Get the ice golem down. Can he tank that wizard tower? Perfect placement. Put him in at six. Archer at nine. Let's see. He's gotta be able to get through that enemy row of champ here. Oof. Quite a bit. No. Damn it. Damn it! So close. That could have, well, would have been triple if that blip gets through. Mm -hmm. Archer on that button camp. Right there. <sighs> it's a nice hit, man. Tough luck on that. He definitely had that entry trap. There was like three or four Sams that popped off. Mm. Yeah, I think the warden ability was just a second too early. Or really, it was just the tornado trap. That was a perfect tornado trap. Really good percent here. We need Rigators to fail, and I need to get the triple. <sighs> Damn, yeah, nice try that tornado. Nice perfect tornado placement. No. Yep. Damn. My healer stayed back as well with one. Yeah. Smash. Here we go. Oh, Rigator is in on Elliot's base. We need the defense here. Hoping for a Siri Lolo. <laughs> What'd you put in your CC this time? 
frage. Hm. Damn it. Gets the funnel on the bottom side. He's gonna oh, try to warden walk. That base is super known. Is he gonna try to warden walk the inferno tower here? Let's see if he can get it. Gonna have to rage. And freeze. But he's gonna be able to get it, it looks like. Now can he pull the warden run down away, south? Warden, run away. Oof. That oh, warden's not coming gosh, back. Is he gonna stay away? That Turn warden's not coming Call back. Queen. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, Halo stay there. Lucky yeah, he got the warden in range of there. there. Oh, that was so close. Pops the warden ability here. The CC is now. Uh, that was unlucky. Pushing through the CC. As long as that bow stays on that ward. If the healers stay on the warden, yeah, we're looking good, good for our defense. We need that double scatter shot on the no, back end to just tear switch. everything up. Boom! Double scatter shots just There's doing no so much splash there. damage. Yeah. Nice. I mean, Queen Celeste ability though. Okay, that's not, that's not gonna be enough. Even though he throws in everything now he has. Let's see, Rogue nice. Champ and Queen both still have abilities. Defense. I don't know, actually, this is gonna be close. Rogue Champ has her ability, Queen and Warden still alive with the healer. Uh-oh. Is it gonna be enough? It's still damn close. Oh no. Killer, killer, please, killer. Does he have this? He got it. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's so lucky. Oh. Wow. Damn. He got it. Just barely. Alright, well, that means existence are gonna get the victory in the first war here. It is a best of two, though, so. We'll see if I can get the triple here to put us, uh, or to tie us up on stars going into the second war, which we really need here. Nice 13 star performance from them. Pretty good percentage too, an 85 and a 96. <sighs> nice. The base was shizy. We can use the, the base from Itsu next round then, if you want, Elliot. <laughs> Would you post an SFC? Okay, Lex, you got this. Uh, yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Is it raining outside? It sounds like it. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Alright. I just gotta time this ram perfectly. It might be a little sketchy. Probably just go early with it, honestly. Here we go. Put another Coco mine uh, loon on the Archer Tower because you already found two black mines there. I wish I had one. Okay, never mind then. Okay. Everything is gonna be good. God damn it. She goes the wrong way. That's okay. Only bad thing about this is I'm not gonna get a CC pool. Wizard on the gold mine, or never mind, hybrid. Oh, 
where we rage for the queen soon. Mm. Yeah. Should he go for the town? So we got another hog rider. Where's my RC? There she is. Everything died. God damn it. Should have just gone with the blimp, maybe. Looking bad now, probably. Uh, minion at 3 o'clock. Archers, uh, that's. Probably not much to use him for. You have to put the archers a little, a little further down for the gold man. Just place him right in front of it. Yeah. Uh, how that cannon is out of range? Oh uh, no. Yeah. All right. War number two. Sure. Need 14 stars. Let's get it. Attack should have tripled. Give it. Percentage are not good for us actually. Yep, sorry guys, that was my bad. Alright. Just just get four stars next one, everything is perfect. Easy. Yeah, nice. Alright, so there you guys have it. That's gonna be the first match in this best of two. Uh, existence coming out with a victory 13 to 12 here against Tribe Gaming. We're still gonna have another match coming right after this, so stay tuned. Uh, come back for tomorrow's video where you'll be able to see the second round. If we can get more than one star victory in the next round, we will be able to save it and get the victory here in this best of two matchup. But if you guys like the series, definitely let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video.